Today we're solving square roots of x. This is lead code number 69. We have to return the square roots of x rounded down to the nearest integer. So we need to make sure that we don't get a negative value. And one very important thing to note is that we are not allowed to use any built-in function. Here we are using C++. I'm not allowed to use the power function, which is the exponent function. I can't use the square root function, which is available in the C++ math library. The examples are straightforward. If x is 4, then we have to return the integer 2, because 2 is the square root of 4. And then here, if we have 8, the square root of 8 is 2.82 something. But because they say here that we need to round down to the nearest integer, instead of returning this floating point value, in this case, we have to round it down and return the number 2. So what you see on the right in the code editor, the text editor here, is my solution. So first, we need to look at what can be the maximum possible value to return. To find this, we can look at int max, which is the maximum integer value that we can have. And I'm going to refer you guys to the Microsoft website. Um, this is a C++ documentation for some of the built-in constants that they have. We have int max, and that is a maximum value for a variable of type int, which is integer. The value for this is 2 billion something. If you take this value and you look for the square roots of that value, you will get 46,340.95 something. Because we need to round down in this challenge, I'm taking this value here and I'm setting it as the maximum possible value that we can return. Or you can also think of this as the right end for my boundaries. So my solution is using the binary search logic and the range is from zero all the way to 46,340. And I got that value from this here, the square roots of int max. So now I create two different variables for the middle and for results. You will see how I'm using this second variable here. So long as I have a range to explore, I'm going to see if multiplying the left value by itself gives me x. So this is verifying if the square root of x is left. If it is, then I can return it. Otherwise, we move to the next condition here. I do the same thing for my right value. I'm verifying if my right value is the square root of x. If yes, then I can return the value for right. Otherwise, I need to look for the middle within that range. So the middle between left and right will be calculated using this formula here. And then I can verify if this middle value is the square root of x. To do this, I multiply middle by itself. I store the results in my variable called results. And then I verify here if it's equal to x. If yes, then I return middle. Otherwise, I need to adjust the boundaries for my range. If result is less than x, it means that I need to explore the right side of my range. So my left side the left boundary is going to be equal to middle plus one. So left will be shifted towards the right. Otherwise, the right will be shifted towards the left. So right will be middle minus one. If we did not return any value at any point inside of this while loop, then it means that the right value here at the end will store the correct value, which is the square root for x. So let's run this code. It should be very fast because the binary search algorithm divides the size of the problem by two at every step. So here we have zero milliseconds for the runtime, which is very good. We passed both sample test cases. So now I'm going to submit this. And we also have zero milliseconds. So that's very good. Um, we passed everything. If you like my lead code solution and you want more C++ videos and Google interview questions, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.